Hey guys, it's Jose from UltimateMuseGuys.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to clip an image in Adobe Muse. Now you may be wondering what does that mean? Well, it stands for clipping mask. So you may be familiar with that term. Um, you've probably done that in uh, Photoshop or Illustrator where you're taking two elements, one uh, a mask which can be any kind of shape uh, or graphic and an image, grouping them together to go ahead and use the top layer to make a certain portion of the, the bottom layer visible and the rest of it um, invisible. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Adobe Muse because um, this will help um, help you use images instead of using divs and putting them in uh, and filling them with an image and um, losing the SEO benefits of working with just images. Um, so here we go. So what you're going to do is go ahead and place an image on the canvas, kind of like what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to pick up, pick this cool image here about a, looks like a car. I'm going to size it out. Normally you would just, you know, resize it and that's all you'd be working with, you know. But now you can actually click the shift button on your keyboard and then click any of the points on the bounding box and resize it any way you want. Get the length and width however you want. And, you know, you can even create a perfect square. Now the problem with that is that it skews the image. Now to fix that, you'll double click in the image and then the bounding box will turn orange. That tells you that you're working with the image, in, it, the image itself within that bounding box that is automatically generated when you import an image into Muse. You're going to do the same thing we did from the beginning. You're going to hold the shift, click any of the points, and move it out to however you like to the point where it looks good. looks like the way it should look. Okay, and there you go. Now you've just taken an image that had a constrained proportion and resize it how you want and it still looks clear and it still looks normal. And that's basically how you do it. Very simple. And I hope you guys like this video. We have a lot more coming up. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube page and also give us a like if you enjoyed this video and got something from it. Okay, guys, so stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time.